kickoff is still four hours away, but already Plainmore is opening for business. Manager and coach, some of the first to arrive. Yeah, read the papers. Have a, I know I've done an article in the Sun yesterday, so you just wonder what you've said and what they've, how they've reported it. Newspapers to read and time at the moment to reminisce. Did you have long hair as a player? Demi wife. Oh, one of like a shabby dog. Yeah. You did. Straight at the front. Demi wife. When I was 17, 18. The, the the plan, the preparation, this part of it is, is is all part of the excitement. Once the game starts, it's doubly exciting. But you. you you feel like you've got a, a, a part of control at the moment once the game starts. The control is there, but it's really uh, over to the players once they go across the white line. Sean has noticed feeling, your feet start to tingle, the air's on the back of your neck stand up. Players begin their own pre-match routines. The scouting report is key and very rarely divulged to outsiders, until now. They're a massive part of the game. I mean, the set plays is, I think, uh, essential that you get it right. If a club have watched us for the last two games, we've got a list of 16 set plays that we use and we do switch them around a little bit to keep them confused and I'm sure other clubs will. I work on 80% of what we're going to do to hurt them and 20% on what they're about. I say eight out of the last 10 teams have changed their system to match us up. My real job and my real part of it is to, to prepare the players right yesterday but from two o'clock onwards to make sure we know what we're, what we're up against and what they're about because at two o'clock it can't change. The team goes in, our team goes in. We know then what their strengths and weaknesses are and how they've set their team up. But before that, there are sponsors to meet. This is a fundraiser called Lunch with Lingy. At a small club, everyone helps out, including the manager. As I said, I don't speak to Alex Ferguson or Arsene Wenger's doing this at, uh, at five past one. But you know, if it helps sell a few extra tickets, in the, in the long run, that comes back to me to allow to get a little bit more extra money in, in the uh, playing budget, and that's what it's all about. There is one other social engagement to meet Port Vale and an old friend. You hear that? I used to run him. He used to play for me, I used to run him. It's Porter Cabins for changing rooms at the moment, and the medical team have to work on the players in the car park. Now the moment of truth. At bang on two o'clock, the team sheets are handed over. Referee and assistants, managers, coaches and captains all attend. But has Martin and his team guessed right about Vale's tactics? Time to find out. That's them playing how they've they been playing the last couple of games, so this is exactly what we expected. So now we're going to pull it onto the players. But once Torquay get out onto the pitch, there's nothing more Martin and his coaching team can do. More pressure for Torquay to defend, and there's a backwards header. Here's McCoo with a shot, and McCoo has scored. The big number five was up from the corner. The ball fell loose, and McCoo whacks it in. One down at half time. It's been one of Torquay's worst halves of football this season. Martin Side's hold on second place in League Two could hinge on what's said in the next few minutes, but not straight away. First, there's video evidence to analyse. Because they've matched us up, haven't they, and followed Union pretty much all over the shop. And a few no-nonsense words of wisdom never go amiss either. Come on in, we've got loads of questions chucked at us. Come on, let's find the answers. The turnaround is remarkable. Good ball to the far post, and in comes Ryan Jarvis, hits the bar. Over kick, brilliant save for the keeper, and Atieno. And then Davis with Renny Howe. Renny Howe's pulled down. That is a penalty kick. Talking of a penalty, and Davis could be in trouble here. Not He's going to get a red card, yeah. he is. He pulled Renny Howe down, and that is a cast iron sending off. Howe will come up, strike it right footed, and scores. <laughs> Ball to the far post, headed back by Jarvis and in! And Ryan Jarvis, the substitute, has got a goal for Torquay! It's Torquay United 2, Port Vale 1. I will say what I want. Lads, just again, another question asking you, come up with the answer. As I said, half time, what Kenny Fazy said is the most uh, popular thing to said out long. Don't argue with each other if it ain't going right. Pull in together, so will help out. Well done, Ren, to get us out of an old. Well done, everyone in the end. Well sometimes the way we play and we pass it, sometimes it ain't going to happen for you. But we will continue to pass it. And when I say something like you and doing a, that step over, the, never a complaint unless you lose the ball. 
<laughs> Most managers will have a beer together afterwards and put the world to rights. I suppose there's a bit of a union making now that, that people stick together because we know what it's like and we know that we're all in it for the same thing, but eventually it's, it's a cutthroat business, isn't it? So I think we have a laugh. It's, you know, we're just privileged every week to be doing what we're doing. Luckily, some of us have been in it a long time. So well done, it's enjoyed our work, and we'll see you all on Tuesday. Not even out of the dressing room, and today's events are already consigned to history.